Morning, guys. Out here and drinking some coffee on this uh, nice Monday morning in November in South Florida, where it's about 80 degrees outside. Still hasn't gotten any cooler here in South Florida, but we're optimistic that any day it will start to get that way. So I wanted to make this video for you today to remind you about something that you may not be using that is holding you back from accomplishing your marketing goals. And that thing is accountability. Now accountability is something that I've learned to take very seriously and to employ as a tool to make sure that I put my plans in action and follow through on my marketing. So if you have some marketing initiatives that you've been trying to get underway, if you've been watching these videos and you've got lots of ideas, then you're probably like most people. It's not a matter of not knowing what to do, it's simply a matter of finding the time to get it done and to put these ideas into motion. So I think we can all relate to that in, any, in businesses of any size, especially a small business where the urgent is always crowding out the important, right? Deadlines are always popping up, clients always have issues, employees always have issues. Things are always popping up that have to be dealt with right then. And by the, if you're not really deliberate in making sure that you're moving your goals forward, then days, weeks, months, even years can end with no measurable progress on what you really wanted to get done, i.e. the important stuff. And so that's where accountability, especially public accountability uh, with your peers, with your team, uh, with people outside of your company, with a coach, uh, it doesn't matter who it is, it can even be your significant other or a friend, can really be the difference between letting a week go by without getting anything done on your important goals and actually chipping away every single day and every single week and actually moving your company forward. So I have a number of personal accountability objectives in place or initiatives in place. I am part of a peer mentoring group. Uh, it's part of the EO Accelerator program. So every single month, I'm meeting with five other business owners and I am re they're really pushing me hard to define where I wanna be one month from that meeting. And this is where it's really important to have somebody that you trust and who knows what you're trying to do because just having a goal or just having a, an accountability measure for the next month in and of itself isn't going to help you if you're not picking the right things to move your marketing forward. So that group really pushes me and makes sure that I'm setting the right goals for the next month. And then I have to go there and publicly let them know whether I accomplished my work or not, right? And so that that measure of having to stand up in front of your peers and tell them what you've done is very powerful because I can assure you that I get a lot more done in the week leading up to that meeting knowing that I've got to be accountable and report on my progress than I would if I just didn't have that meeting because it's not like that meeting or the couple weeks before the, the meeting are any different than they would be if that meeting was there or not, right? There's still important issues popping up every single day. There's still too much to do in any, in any given day. My staff still needs my time, my customers still have issues, um, but I know that I'm gonna carve out that important time because I'm gonna be accountable. Now in addition to that, I'm working on my second book, a New Customer Machine, and I have an accountability partner for that, Javier. Uh, you guys may know Javier from one of the videos in the past when we shot in Nashville. And Javier is holding me accountable uh, every Friday to move both the book and the podcast around the same topic forward. Because again, got way too much on my plate, and those are the things that I've been talking about doing for many months, but I've been making no progress on. In fact, I started this book back in January, and when I went back, I realized I already had three chapters written, and I had completely abandoned it for some other initiatives that were happening. So each week, I'm setting goals, and I have to report back to him. My homework is due uh, by 11 o'clock, or by midnight the night before, and it's just such a, a really powerful thing to know that someone else is investing their time in me to make sure that I'm moving forward my goals. And so I owe it to him and I owe it to myself to make sure that I have my accountability homework done. So these are two things that I've self-imposed on myself to move the marketing forward for the company. And if you find that there's never enough time in, in the day to get marketing done, if you're not able to make marketing a habit like I talk about so much in these videos, then you're not getting the important stuff done and you're only working on the urgent. And if you only work on the urgent, then you're gonna be in the same place you are today, six months and even six years from now. So ask yourself how you can use accountability to move your goals forward. I'm sure there are people in your life that would love to help you with this. It may not even cost you anything or you may wanna go with a professional route and actually get a coach 
who would really make sure that, that you're moving the ball forward because a coach is going to be, be able to give you impartial advice. They're professional. They do this all the time. And they're going to know when you're doing the right things and when you're not. So hope that helps. Hope everybody goes out there and put some plans into action today.